For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of the Everton career mode here on FIFA 17. We start with a game at home against West Ham. We follow that up with a very difficult game against Chelsea away from home on Friday Night Football. Then we've got a couple of weeks break and we face Swansea towards the end of November. Not having European football this season means that we actually don't need to rotate the squad that much or as heavily as I ordinarily would do because everybody is having enough rest to be able to continue their good form. And because everybody's in such good form, a couple of the transfers we brought in haven't been able to play as often as they may have liked to. But in the future, especially once we get to the FA Cup, and if we can continue to do well in the Capital One Cup, I am going to need that squad depth, so it's important that we have them in. But for now, we are still top of the table. Eight wins from a possible nine. Only a two-point gap, though, to Arsenal. We've both scored 13 goals. We've both conceded two. So neither of us are really scoring prolifically, but we're also not conceding any goals at all, which is really, really impressive. Liverpool have scored 20, although as you've... Uh, as I pointed out in the last episode, as you've been able to see from the, uh, the just the, the goal-scoring charts, Felipe Coutinho has nine goals so far this season, which is absolutely mental. He's on nine, and you've got Jason Punchin and Lukaku on six, and then a number of players on three and four. But for now, we want to try and chase down Coutinho with Lukaku. I'd love to get Lukaku the golden boot this year. I'd also love to finish in the top four, but we fiddled with the sliders in the last episode, as per Chani Sports' advice. It seemed to work, so we're playing against a little bit tougher level of opposition today. So we'll see if it continues to kind of be the right balance between legendary and making it that little bit tougher. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. There will be a my... No, not a my player. There will be a The Journey episode tonight. There was a my player last night. But without any further ado, let's go face West Ham. My starting lineup is as you might expect it, although Idrissa Garnagay starts at CDM ahead of James McCarthy. I'm not sure what sort of team West Ham are putting out. They have, of course, in real life made a terrible start to the season, despite having a good squad and adding to it with really good players in the transfer window in real life. There's Slavan Bilic, who in real life might be losing his job soon. It's really, really tough to know what to do at West Ham right now, but they're starting Randolph in goal which is a strange decision, although they sold Adrian, didn't they? I just remembered. Uh, Andy Carroll, Paye, Fernandez, Fagouli, Kiate, Obiang, Masuaku, Oxford, Collins and Alvaro Arbaloa was that at right back. So that's not the strongest possible lineup they could put out. We'll have to wait and see how this game goes. Fagouli, cross comes in, but it's easily dealt with by Jags. Lukaku, well, he brought it down well enough, but Kiate just arrived and took it away from him. It's a good turn. I tried to commit with Idrissa Gunnagay. It's a good turn by Fernandez, and he's done me again, and Sergio Rico makes a very good save. Drops only as far as Faguli, though, trying desperately not to give away a penalty here. Oh my god, stop with the footwork, will you? I can't cope with that. Faguli into Fernandez, deflected and wide for a corner. West Ham on the attack at the start of this game and coming very close to getting themselves a goal. How quick were Fagouli's feet there? You just It was mesmerising. I didn't know whether to go right or to go left. Andy Carroll takes the touch. Kiate gets tackled and we will not work it away well. I was trying to get it up towards Kevin Morales, but that was a terrible attempted clearance. Corner for West Ham. Dimmy to take it. In it comes. Oh, it's towards the near post and Andy Carroll chests it down. Plays it back to Fernandez, who draws a good save out of Sergio Rico. He's really earning that number one shirt right now, Sergio Rico. West Ham are really tearing me to pieces here. So another good ball in. Andy Carroll flicks that backwards. Fernandez with a shot. I'm not really too sure why he didn't shoot there. Jagielka with a block. Another West Ham corner to come. We are under pressure here. Is he going to go near post again? It's actually Pae to stand up towards the back post. And I can't clear that, but thankfully Sergio Rico's come to claim. Right, I just need to slow this game down because the quicker it plays, the more likely West, Am West Ham are to uh, score a goal. Drisa Garnagay to Axel Witzel to Barkley. Looking for Lukaku. Took it in his stride very well. He is left-footed though, so I want to try and get onto that left foot if I can. And the shot is well blocked by James Collins. That's our best chance of the game so far. And it wasn't really that clear-cut. Delefeu ends up on the floor there after tripping over Masuaku. Here come West Ham on the counter-attack. And I mistimed that tackle. And Fernandez is in behind here. 
He's got a man in the middle, but Jagielka stands him up well and will get it away. That might be the end of the first half, or we might have one more opportunity. Lukaku again making a move. Morales will go around the outside. This first half has been played at a relentless pace, and it's going to be nil-nil at the break, although West Ham have clearly had the better chances. Corner for West Ham. And that should be comfortably cleared and is, but only as far as Fernandez, who thought about a shot from the edge of the box. Andy Carroll will have a shot from the edge of the box. And again, a defender in the way. Same as Coleman this time. Didn't mean to take another corner. It's their fifth of the game so far. Oh, he's pulling it to the edge. That's one of the worst corners I think I've ever seen. Kevin Morales could break away here. Now I've got Gerard Delefeu with me. Now I need to time this pass right and weight it properly. And we've done exactly that. And Gerard Delefeu, surely... I wasn't confident on his left foot. I thought, I'll turn on his right. I can't believe I've balls that up. That is the most clear-cut opportunity I've had all game. It may even be the most clear-cut opportunity I'll have between now and the end of the game. But I missed it. I balls it up. Although Axel Witzel is racing away here and can't find the back of the net. Oh, I can't believe I've done that. Never mind. We'll push on. We'll try and get ourselves in front with a better chance a little bit later. For Gooley. Trying to show him down the line, but he's gone backwards to Kiyate. Fernandez into Kiyate. Oh, no, short. I can't. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a strike from Seku Kiyate. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was like, surely not. And it's just flown in the back of the net. What a wonder strike from Seku Kiyate. The amount of great chances they've had. And they've not taken them. And then the ball just drops 25 yards out. And he lashes it into the back of the net. We're 1-0 down, lads. Coleman through the gap to McCarthy. Oh, tackled by Seku Kiyate, though. Surely man of the match so far. It just kind of gay does well there, though. We'll get it out wide to Delefeu. We've got support coming from James McCarthy. We'll use him as a decoy run. Get this to Lukaku. Poke that for Axel Witzel. Who can poke it for Yannick Balassi? Who can't equalise? But McCarthy blazes it across. Lukaku can't get there. Seku Kuyate with the interception. That was the opportunity. I just didn't put enough power on that little layoff from Lukaku. Oh, that should have been 1-1. Final whistle's gone. It's finished. West Ham 1. Everton 0 at Goodison Park. They were the better side. They had plenty more clicker opportunities, but in the end, it's a stunning goal from Sheikou Kiyate that gives Everton a defeat here. That's our second defeat of the season. Oh, ten shots, eight on target for West Ham. They were the better team. I can't, I can't deny that. I can't do anything against that. How did Arsenal get on? They haven't played yet. Okay. Not sure what the situation will be at the top of the table, but our goal difference and points tallies have taken a hit there, unfortunately. We'll just have to try and pick ourselves up and go again against Chelsea this upcoming Friday. Things aren't getting any easier for us. So what does their starting line look like? Courtois on the bench with Begovic starting unexpected. Jamie Vardy as the main man up top. Hazard and Willian either side of him. Mikel Kante, Matic, David Luiz alongside JT, Branner and Dave as wingbacks. So... A side that you would expect to see with Chelsea, although perhaps you would have expected maybe Cesc or Oscar in the midfield instead of Mikel. And definitely you would have expected Diego Costa up top instead of Jamie Vardy and Thibaut Courtois in goal instead of uh, Begovic, which is strange. I'm starting in Yaki Williams on the left-hand side of my front three in this one. And I think, yep, that's my only change to the normal starting lineup. James McCarthy has his first team spot back. This is not going to be easy at Stamford Bridge. And after a defeat against West Ham, I'd really like to try and bounce back with a win. But I think avoiding defeat is the most important thing. McCarthy into Axel Witzel. So Delefeu is screaming for it out on this right-hand side. And that's a perfectly weighted ball. And Delefeu trying to turn inside Aspilicueta. I'm just trying to get away from the number of defenders here, to be honest. Axel Witzel go out wide to Leighton Baines. Iñaki Williams will make me the run down the line. Now, Williams surely will be able to give Ivanovic the run around in this game because of the extra pace. I'll look to pull this back. David Luiz does well. Baines will find Axel Witzel, though, and his shot is well saved by Begovic. Positive start from us. We're starting this game the way that West Ham started the last one. And Iñaki Williams really might be... Uh, staking a claim for a permanent first-team spot in the near future, although every single one of my wingers has played exceptionally so far this year. Delefeu 
Inyaki Williams, Kevin Morales and Yannick Balassi have all been brilliant and I've only got two spots for four players so I'm not really too sure who to start each week but so far we seem to have been making the right decisions selection wise so hopefully that will continue to be the case. Jamie Vardy's in behind here, that's a deep cross and it's going to be awkward and Matic heads over the top of the bar. Chances at both ends in the opening 12 minutes but we stay goalless. Good head by Jagielka, Colwell brings it down, out wide. To Delefeu, just poke that to Barkley. They've got something on it, but we'll get it back to Delefeu. And surely I have to pull this back to Lukaku. And surely this will be 1 0. Wow. Wonderful recovery tackle from Branislav Ivanovic. If he doesn't do that, I score. That goes straight into the back of the net. Oh, I can't believe we've not taken the lead there. Can't take on the run. Trying to steal it off him, but I can't. That's brilliant ball through as well looking for Willian who's got the legs to get there ahead of Ashley Williams and the turn and the cross Hazard picks it up oh I should have committed Hazard brilliant finish kept it low drilled it into the near post there was nothing the keeper could do there you can see what Eden Hazard thinks of it he's absolutely delighted he sprinted straight across to Antonio Conte he was determined there to celebrate with the manager wasn't he, he sprinted all the way over there great finish so not much I can I can do again a not much I can do about that. Brilliant ball across by Willian. I really shouldn't have committed there, but it seemed like I could get the ball. But the finish is just very, very, very well taken. Drilled low into the corner. Sergio Rico, no chance. Chelsea won, Everton nil. Willian, nice turn. Where are you going, my man? That way, apparently. No? Yes? Which way are you going, Willian? Finds Matic. I was hoping his cross wasn't going to be any... Whoa. I was hoping his cross wasn't going to be any good on his right foot, but he found Mikel well. But it didn't quite get enough on it. Trying to just help it on its way into the far corner. But just let it skim too much off his forehead. And out for a goal kick, thankfully. Turn of sorts. Where are you going? I love that. James McCarthy steals it off him. Get it to Witzel. Right. Play the right pass at the right time. And using Yaku Williams' pace. I wish he'd let that run. So he could get in behind JT. I've had to turn back inside. Get it to James McCarthy. Lukaku's currently off the pitch. Nursing a knock. That should be a free kick. And is... Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to have to take Lukaku off here. He's still off the pitch, so I'm just going to take him off and bring you over Titch on and hope that uh, Montenegro can make the difference. Oscar is given away. Get that to Yannick Balassi. Into McCarthy. There's Axel Witzel. That's not Axel Witzel. This is Axel Witzel. Oh, quickly. Oh, can't get there. Oh, that was a great attempted through ball. Try and bring this down. Here's Stefan Jovetic on to James Will Prowse, who's in the box. James Will Prowse, surely equaliser. 93rd minute. This is at the very, very end of the game. Practically the final kick. And James Will Prowse with a great turn. Jovetic quickly helps it to him. JT committed to it. It's very unlike John Terry to commit to something like that and not read the game. But James Will Prowse spins him. I just had to settle myself. I didn't take the shot too early. Just calm myself down, keep composed, slot it in the corner, take a point. Pretty sure that was the last kick of the game. We'll find out any moment now. The referee... Yep, last kick of the game. The relief. I was desperate not to lose back-to-back -back games, and we haven't. We scrape a 1-1 draw at Chelsea. We deserve at least something from that game. Clearly, as you can see from the stats, maybe we should have won it. We definitely deserved the point. Let's go into the third game of the episode. I think it was Swansea, and we'll see if we can get a win from this one. So we'll go from the worst, a defeat, to in the middle with a draw. Let's end with the best, a win. Romelu Lukaku's injury supposedly was going to keep him out for three weeks. It's been two since that Chelsea game, and I could start him here against Swansea if I so wish. He is, as you could see there, having the plaster symbol next to him. I'm not going to start him. I don't want to risk him getting... Uh, an injury that's going to keep him out for even longer. So I'm not going to play him in this one. And Yaki Williams had a very good game against Chelsea, though. So I'm going to start him again ahead of uh, Morales and Yannick Balassi on that left-hand side. And I think I'm going to... Actually, no. James Will Prowse came off the bench to score a very good goal. So let's start him ahead of Axel... No, I still want the physicality of Witzel. Let's put James Will Prowse there, drop Axel Witzel into the CDM role. And then I think this stride should be... Should be... Strong enough to hold off the attentions of a Swansea side. We'll have to wait and see. Three points on the agenda, please. Free kick for Swansea. Oh, I think they're going to go short, actually. They have one. Ball had Bastone gets it to Jack Cork into Neil Taylor. Down line to Bastone again. Seamus Coleman will come out to meet him and hold him up well enough, but still able to get the ball in the box. Jordi Amat back to Angle Wrangle. The right back. What a save from Sergio Rico leaping away to that left-hand side. 
Really good strike from the right back, Angel Rangel. It's headed towards that top corner and great technique from the keeper. Strong palm away. Are they going to go short here? They are. To Nathan Dyer. Is the cross going to come in? It might do. I don't think he can make up his mind which way to go. It will tackle Angel Rangel, but then Ashley Williams trips over everybody. We are able to get it away, thankfully, although we've given it straight to Jefferson Montero. That's Leon Britton, not Jefferson Montero. He's Jefferson Montero. There's Angle Rangel again. Ashley Williams playing against his former team for the first time since joining Everton. Leroy Fur has had a very good start to the season in real life and sets up Borja Bastogne, which is Seamus Coleman, with a good block. I've been blocking a lot of shots in today's episode. It's normally the other way around, with a CPU blocking a lot of mine, but I've been having to throw bodies in front of numerous uh, attempts by our opposition in today's episode so far. Thankfully, the majority of the time, we've been able to get in the way. Borja Bastogne, I don't know whether that hit the post or the, man, the goalkeeper saved that, but... Thankfully, it stayed out. Swansea starting on the front foot here. This has been a, an episode that's been completely different to anything we've seen so far this season. Teams are really, really attacking me now. Barkley into Witzel. Jovetic wants to make that run. And I'll get it to him. Bit of footwork. And the finish. Oh, yes, the finish. Stefan Jovetic. The power on that. Incredible strike. He scored his first goal in the last episode with a great overhead kick. But that is just as impressive on his weak foot, smashing it off the inside of the far post with so much power. Keeper no chance. After we blocked a couple of efforts at one end and Sergio Rico made a couple of very good saves, we take the lead at the other. Great ball out wide to Jefferson Montero. Where's he going to go? Jagielka stands him up well, but can't get the ball off him. Thankfully, strength is very important this year, and Jagielka is always going to have the strength on someone the size of Jefferson Montero. Just play this back here and keep possession for a little while. James Will Prowse will get it back out wide. I see Jovetic there, though. We'll put it to him. Trying to play some nice football here, see if we can actually put together a nice little chicky tacker style move, although I've not really got much support out wide here for Delefeuille, so I'm going to have to pull it back and go back inside. Coleman, little back heel there to Axel Witzel. Into James Will Prowse. I'm going to actually try and bend that tops. I saw the run, actually. As soon as I pressed shoe, I saw the run of the man the other side of me, and perhaps I could have switched it back to him. But never mind. James Will Prowse scored a good goal in the previous game, just a couple of feet away from scoring another one in this one. Jovetic into Barkley. Back to Jovetic. I could have played in James Will Prowse there, but... Just didn't have the space, really, to get it out of my feet. Barkley will go out wide here to Seamus Coleman. I've got Delefeu cutting inside, which has drawn the defenders away, which means Seamus Coleman can dart inside himself. Will find Jovetic. Decent attempt first time, actually. He's got a decent amount of shot power, Jovetic. That was very well hit, as was his goal. See if we can find a teammate with the corner. Assi Williams is up, and he scored against his former team. What a header! Wonderful header from Ashley Williams. That was absolutely brilliant. Down into the bottom corner. There was nothing Nordvite could do against that. Both of our goals in this game have been of top, top quality. 2-0 Everton. There goes the final whistle. It's going to be a 2-0 win at home against Swansea. So we ended the <laughs> end of the episode with a defeat. Drew in the middle and won at the end. Really pleased with that result. Both goals were very good. Swansea had a number of opportunities though. I think I'm enjoying having the sliders set the way they are. It feels a lot more balanced. So I'm going to continue in that vein. I just want to see what the league table looks like because Man United play Arsenal now. And if Arsenal lose that, we may have just been able to sneak back on top of the league. I'm not expecting to finish top, but the longer we can stay top and have continued good uh, performances, then the, long, the better chance we have of finishing in the top four. My manager rating there looks as if it had dropped to 76. Not really too sure why. I'll have a quick look at the board expectations. As board expectations to see. Yeah, you can see it's going down there to 76. I don't know why. Everton board. Oh, they've actually sent me an email. As we discussed at the beginning of the season, investing in our youth development was an important goal for the club. At this moment, it looks like we may not hit our mark. Please revisit the specific objectives we set out to accomplish and do your best to fulfil them. Okay. Well, I need to start pulling up one of the uh, the youth scout players then, don't I? I need to call someone up. Brand exposure, we got sold 78% of the uh, shirts we need to sell. Financially, the, board, the club worth hasn't changed yet, but I think that updates at the end of the season. I think it updates at the end of the season. We're currently second in the league. Well, we haven't overtaken Arsenal then. 
and we're still on course to finish uh, in those European positions, but I'm going to have to consider signing someone up from the youth scout things. We'll wait until we get into December because we're very close to that now. We've got a game against Middlesbrough next in the uh, Capital One Cup, and then, well, that's a very busy month of December, isn't it? Yes, we thought that uh, fixture congestion might become a, a, an issue a little bit later in the season. Turns out that is going to be the case. We'll have a look at the league table, though, and see what's what. We already know we're second, but who is elsewhere? Eventually, it will change the slate. I'm sorry. Burton just beat Chelsea 1-0 in the round of 16. How did I not notice that previously? That is a massive result. It is Arsenal that are top. Everton second, Liverpool third, but they do have a game in hand and could go top should they win that. Chelsea in fifth could overtake Man City if they win their game in hand. Uh, Southampton, Middlesbrough and Burnley still all down the bottom. Burnley still yet to win a game in the opening 12 of the season. That's really poor. Really pleased with how things are going for us though so far. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. There'll be a journey episode tonight. There was a My Player episode last night, so do check the channel page for anything you missed. But for now, that's all from me. I will see you next time.